Welcome to the enchanting world of I Dream of Genie, a television series that captured the hearts of viewers during its run from 1965 to 1970. As we delve into the fascinating details of this classic sitcom, have you ever found yourself reminiscing about the impact it had on your life? Perhaps there's a personal story or cherished memory you hold dear, inspired by the magical adventures of Major Tony Nelson and the spirited genie. Before we explore some lesser known facts about the show, consider the possibility of your own unique connection to I Dream of Genie. Was there a moment when the series influenced your perspective or became a source of inspiration? Now, let's uncover some intriguing tidbits about the show that might surprise you. Did you know that the iconic Genie bottle was originally a Jim Beam whiskey decanter? It's a quirky detail that adds a touch of real-world charm to the magical narrative. Another interesting fact is that the show's premise underwent changes during its development, shaping the dynamic between the lead characters. As we unravel these behind-the-scenes glimpses, it's time to reflect on your most cherished memory or personal experience related to I Dream of Genie. What made this series special for you, and how has it left an enduring mark on your life? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We would love to hear about your magical moments with Major Nelson and Genie. So, whether you're a longtime fan or just discovering the enchantment of I Dream of Genie, join the conversation and let the nostalgia flow. Your stories are the threads that weave the tapestry of this timeless classic. I Dream of Genie, a classic American television series that first aired in 1965, originated from the creative mind of Sidney Sheldon. The show follows the comedic misadventures of astronaut Captain Tony Nelson, played by Larry Hagman, who discovers a mysterious, centuries-old genie, Genie, portrayed by Barbara Eden, after crash landing on a deserted island. The twist unfolds when Captain Nelson inadvertently releases Genie from her ancient bottle, leading her to follow him back to his Florida home. The series' unique blend of fantasy, humor, and the supernatural unfolds as Gina's magical powers frequently clash with the everyday challenges of a modern astronaut's life. The iconic characters, including the bumbling but endearing NASA psychiatrist Dr. Bellows and Tony's best friend and fellow astronaut Roger Healy, contribute to the show's charm. I Dream of Genie not only captivated audiences with its enchanting premise, but also left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent sitcoms and becoming a cultural touchstone remembered fondly by generations. Its impact is evident in the enduring popularity of the series, which continues to be enjoyed through reruns and digital platforms, showcasing the timeless appeal of this magical sitcom. And that's the enchanting tale of I Dream of Genie, a show that turned a simple nod and blink into a magical, timeless classic. The iconic TV series I Dream of Genie is not just a classic, but it also left its mark in unexpected places. Take, for instance, Cocoa Beach, Florida, where a frozen yogurt shop named I Dream of Yogurt paid homage to the show. Imagine enjoying your frozen treat while watching episodes of the timeless sitcom. Did you know that the fancy antique bottle Genie called home wasn't just a prop? It was a Jim Beam liquor decanter, originally holding Beam's choice Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. The art department's touch with gold leaf turned it into the iconic vessel we all remember. In some early color episodes, Jeannie breaks away from her pink harem outfit, opting for a green ensemble. Not to mention the episode where she dyes her hair black, attempting to sway Captain Tony Nelson to keep her. These deviations later became trademarks of Gina's sister, adding an interesting twist to the show. These quirky details add layers to the enchanting tale of I Dream of Genie, proving that the show's influence stretches beyond the screen. Whether it's frozen yogurt or an antique liquor decanter, the show's impact endures in unexpected ways. Barbara Eden's portrayal of Genie in the 1965 TV series I Dream of Genie marked a significant casting choice. Interestingly, she was the first blonde to audition for the role, ultimately bringing a unique charm to the character. However, the show's origins trace back to Sidney Sheldon, who openly acknowledged drawing inspiration from the comedy movie The Brass Bottle. This film, featuring Tony Randall, revolves around a man unleashing a male genie, drawing parallels to the misadventures of Captain Tony Nelson in the series. Notably, in The Brass Bottle, Randall's girlfriend was none other than Barbara Eden, adding a curious connection to the creation of I Dream of Genie. 
In a surprising twist, Emmeline Henry, later known for her role as Amanda Bellows in the series, had a prior appearance in the first season episode titled Is There an Extra Genie in the House? She played a magician's assistant, foreshadowing her eventual prominent role in the show. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the intricate web of influences and casting choices that shaped the iconic series, making I Dream of Genie a fascinating exploration of both on-screen magic and off-screen creativity. In the 1965 TV series I Dream of Genie, the characters' military backgrounds mirrored the real-life experiences of the actors. Larry Hagman, who portrayed Captain Tony Nelson, had served in the United States Air Force, while Bill Daly, who played Roger Healy, had been in the U.S. Army as an artilleryman during the Korean War. The show, known for its blend of fantasy and humor, featured an interesting detail in its first season. When Tony was promoted from captain to major, a uniform error surfaced. The silver oak leaves on his uniform, indicating the rank of lieutenant colonel, suggested a colorization mistake in the black and white episodes. However, in the second season filmed in color, the correct gold oak leaves for a major were implemented. Additionally, during the first season, Gina's mother was portrayed by Florence Sunstrom and Lauren Tuttle in specific episodes, later leading to the creation of additional character roles for Barbara Eden. This casting decision added depth to the series and showcased the evolving dynamics within the magical world of I Dream of Genie. These behind-the-scenes details, rooted in the reality of the actors and production nuances, contribute to the richness of the iconic series. The seamless integration of real-life experiences and on-screen creativity further enhances the viewer's appreciation for the timeless magic of I Dream of Genie, a show that continues to captivate audiences through its unique blend of fantasy and humor. In the second season of I Dream of Genie, significant changes were made to the iconic elements of the show. Gina's bottle and harem costume underwent a complete renovation, along with the interior of the Nelson home. This transformation set the stage for a refreshed visual experience for viewers. Notably, these alterations weren't static. Genie, in a unique twist, changed the home interior again in the final season, taking inspiration from a magazine page. This dynamic evolution of key elements added a layer of freshness to the series, keeping the audience visually engaged throughout its run. The meticulous attention to detail extended to the character's choice of wheels. Pontiacs were the preferred mode of transportation for all characters, except for the general in the series finale, who opted for a Cadillac convertible. Tony Nelson, portrayed by Larry Hagman, cruised in blue convertibles, initially with a GTO and later with a Bonville. Roger Healy, played by Bill Daly, went for a pale yellow Pontiac Firebird 400 convertible. Even Dr. Bellows had his signature Pontiac Le Mans wagon followed by a Bonville hardtop. This consistent automotive choice added a touch of uniformity to the characters' lives, creating a subtle but noticeable element of continuity. The behind-the-scenes involvement of Michael and Sarah, Barbara Eden's then-husband, added another intriguing layer to the series. And Sarah not only guest-starred in several episodes, but also took on the director's role for one genie beats four of a kind. This dual contribution from someone close to the leading lady brought a personal touch to the production, showcasing the interconnected relationships within the show's creative process. In exploring these details, it becomes evident that I Dream of Genie was more than just a fantastical sitcom. It was a carefully curated world where even the smallest elements underwent thoughtful consideration. From the set design to the choice of cars and the personal connections behind the scenes, every aspect contributed to the enduring charm of this classic series. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of I Dream of Genie, let the magic linger in your thoughts. The 1965 TV series transcends time, weaving a tapestry of humor, fantasy, and the ever-captivating antics of Genie and Major Nelson. As you reflect on the whimsical adventures and the playful winks of a genie, consider the personal tapestry it's woven into your own memories. Perhaps it's the nostalgia of an era gone by or the timeless allure of a mischievous genie in a bottle. Now, it's your turn to share the jewels of your recollections. Dive into the depths of your own experiences with I Dream of Genie and let the conversation spark. What made you laugh uncontrollably? Which magical moment etched itself into the canvas of your nostalgia? Connect with us, fellow dreamers, as we embark on this journey down memory lane. 
Share your cherished moments, your laughter-filled evenings, and the way I dream of Genie wove itself into the fabric of your life. Let the threads of conversation intertwine, creating a vibrant tapestry of shared memories. Thank you for joining us on this magical odyssey through time and television. Your thoughts, your memories, they are the true Jenny's magic timeless and precious. Until we meet again in the realms of nostalgia, keep dreaming, keep smiling.